Welcome to the JMC Network Sportscast for the week of May 2nd. I'm Ben Wharton. And I'm Ryan Cantrell. For the first time since 1997, the ACU baseball team will not participate in the Lone Star Conference Tournament. Needing to sweep Southwestern Oklahoma in their three-game series, the Wildcats managed only one win when they needed it most. Hope was still alive for the men Friday as they won 17-6, but dreams of the postseason were quickly erased as they lost the second game 17-13. After starting the season ranked number six in the nation, injuries plagued the Cats, and they finished the season at 24 and 23 overall and 16 and 17 in the Lone Star Conference. Despite taking two of three from the Texans this weekend, the Wildcats softball team will miss the LSC tournament this season. ACU will finish tied for fourth place with Texas Women's University, but will lose the tiebreak on head-to-head -head results from earlier in the season. ACU gave themselves a good opportunity to make the tournament, winning a pair. But TWU also took two of three from LSC South leading Andrew State this weekend. Senior pitcher Brittany Rexrell closed out her ACU career winning five of her final seven starts. She finished 14-9 on the season with a 3.89 ERA. The Wildcat golf team is set to tee off Monday in Georgetown, Kentucky in the NCAA Regional Tournament. ACU is seated second in the South Central region behind LSC champion Central Oklahoma. The South Central region is paired with the Midwest region to form a Super Regional. The top five teams out of the Super Regional will advance to play in the National Championship Tournament in Florence, Alabama. Both the men's and women's tennis teams will host their respective NCAA South Central Regional Tournaments at the Eager Tennis Center. The second-seeded men will take on Cameron University, while the top-seeded women face Tarleton State. The men have seen the Aggies before, winning 5-4 in Abilene, then again 5-1 to, to win the Lone Star Conference Tournament title. It's also a rematch for the women after a 7-2 win over the Texans on February 11th. Visit the ACU Optimus website for more updates on the final scores of the two matches. Former ACU wide receiver Edmund Gates will be taking his talents to South Beach. Gates was drafted by the Miami Dolphins Saturday in the fourth round. Gates was the 111th pick of this year's draft and joins ex-Wildcats Bernard Scott, Johnny Knox, and Daniel Manning as active NFL players. For more ACU sports news, visit the Optimus at acuoptimus.com and pick up the Optimus after chapel every Wednesday and Friday. For the JMC Network, I'm Ryan Cantrell. And I'm Ben Warden.